Hey guys, it's Chris, and we are sort of in the urban wild. Um, today we're going to do some uh, knock out some common snake questions I get. Let me pull up my notes. Uh, first question I get is, can snakes swim? Uh, yes. Matter of fact, pretty much all snakes can swim. They're actually really good swimmers. Uh, now there are some desert dwelling species and uh, maybe some uh, subterranean species that live you know pretty strictly underground that might not be as adapted to swimming um, but for the most part yep uh, snakes can swim we obviously have a lot of water snakes uh, people know about water moccasins uh, you have some that live in the ocean sea snakes uh, so yep snakes can swim really well and uh, that leads us to our next one water bait well speaking of water let's top up Uh, do snakes drink water? Uh, yes, they do. Uh, just, like, just about like every other living animal, it requires water uh, for survival. Uh, some don't need as much as others. Uh, your, your desert dwelling species get most of their moisture from the prey items that they eat. Uh, but given the chance, the odd rainstorm in the desert, uh, they will drink. So um, that's another one knocked out. So number three, can snakes bite underwater? Yes, they can. Um, there really isn't a way that snake can't bite, uh, whether it's you know uh, underwater or above water or um, you know just about anywhere. A snake can bite. It has a mouth. It can bite to uh, to defend itself. Um, and a matter of fact, like we mentioned mentioned earlier, so there's some water snakes primarily eat fish, and they get those fish underwater. So um, they can bite underwater. Um, they're not going to drown. But um, yeah, it was a pretty easy one. Um, pretty common question too. Got some birds and some squirrels fighting behind me. All right, number four is a good one. Are all snakes poisonous? No. However, snakes are venomous, not poisonous. There are a few exceptions, but uh, snakes like rattlesnakes, cobras, mambas, copperheads, those are venomous, not poisonous. So uh, there are a number of species of venomous snakes, but uh, very, very, very few species are poisonous. Uh, that's pretty common. And there will be another video on something being venomous versus something being poisonous. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, do snakes eat people? Uh, not really. There are s uh, several very large species that can predate on um, really small uh, people, like real small children or, and things like that. Uh, those being uh, reticulated pythons, green anacondas, uh, and African rock pythons. There are some snakes that get as big as those guys get. Um, but predominantly those three reticulated pythons, green anacondas, and African rock pythons have been uh, have been recorded or it's been it's been verified that they have either attempted to or have eaten someone. Usually it's it's a small child. Um, so they can eat people. Uh, usually it's just a very small person, uh, but we're, we're not really on the menu. They would much rather, you know, predate on what they naturally do, be it monkeys, fish, uh, rabbits, that sort of thing. And we're not really built for, we have big, big shoulders, and uh, that's not really conducive for, uh, for swallowing. So, they have a hard time with people. Let's see the next question. Uh, do snakes hibernate? Uh, no, they do not. They do something called brumate or brumation. It's um, what brumation is is say when it gets to a certain time of the year, especially when it gets colder, snakes slow way down. They'll usually hide in some sort of a burrow um, or um, uh, some kind of a cave under some rocks, uh, somewhere where they can maintain at a certain temperature where there's not going to be a drastic fluctuation, and they slow their bodies way down. Um, hibernation is what you know mammals will do. You know everyone knows bears hibernate for the winter. Um, where 
with bears or with mammals versus reptiles, mammals generally maintain a, um, a constant uh, heartbeat um, and respiratory function, where snakes will slow theirs way down, um, far surpassing anything we could sustain as, as mammals. So they brumate, which is similar to hibernation. There's just different physical changes uh, that happen uh, versus, you know, like for bears, for instance. Um, how many teeth do, do snakes have? Um, good question. Um, it depends on which snake you're talking about. Uh, they vary. It could be, you know, anywhere between 60 to 100 teeth. Um, and they're all going to, they, they might look different. Um, usually they're curved rearward. Um, and it also depends on what kind of animals they're eating. Um, but they, they have a few. Um, a lot of them have six rows of teeth. Uh, you'll have two on the top, uh, on the outside, two on the roof of the mouth, and then two on the bottom, so six rows. Uh, it's, it's pretty impressive when you uh, actually see a snake skull. If you get a chance, look, look those up. Those are pretty neat. Um, and also the last one we have is do snakes lay eggs? Um, some do. Uh, like your king snakes and your milk snakes, they lay eggs. Where uh, they breed, the female will find a suitable place for her eggs that's nice and warm and humid and will lay a number of eggs. A lot of, you know, pythons, uh, your Burmese pythons and your ball python you probably have at home, that would lay eggs. Now, there are also snakes that give live birth, like boa constrictors and copperheads, uh, they give live birth, where the egg... Uh, instead of being in a hard leather shell, um, the baby is is almost in a uh, like a sack, and it incubates inside the mother. And then after you know, 60, 90 days, give or take, um, the babies come out and they're born. But they're born live, uh, not incubated in, in eggs uh, externally. Um, so those are good questions. If you guys have uh, any more, be sure to let me know, and I'll get those answered as soon as possible. And um, I'll see you guys uh, in the wild. Thanks.